Yeah, so it is me on the screen, I know. I've glowed up a little bit, so to speak. New teeth and all that kind of malarkey. But we're going to talk about price prediction for Dogecoin. <laughs> so in the previous video here, you can see target levels I was looking at. I actually was short in this at around 70 cents. A lot of people in this video were bet betting on a $1 Dogecoin. It obviously didn't happen, materialize. And I'm going to explain maybe $1 might still be a pipe dream for a lot of people with this unless certain parameters change. So in this video, we're going to go through some of the fundamentals, what Dogecoin is and why it's kind of important for the ecosystem. But the price analysis, where can it actually go? Will it see a new all-time high? Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you are a Doge holder. It'd be good to see. So well, let's get into it, right? So firstly, we need to look into the obvious. Dogecoin, it is still a top asset, in my opinion, a top asset. Why do I think this? It is a genuine cryptocurrency, cyberpunk sort of era, cryptocurrency coin, currency coin, right? It works as it's intended to. The problem you got, it's kind of obvious. I'm going to talk about it. It's supply, but we'll come on to that in a second. But it was created in 2013, if you don't know this, and it only really got pumped, let's be honest here, via Elon Musk due to what he was saying about it and obviously potential influence of how he was going to implement it going forward. A lot of people did get wrecked by it, which is fair enough because of hype. But overall, the fundamentals are clear. It is a currency. In my opinion, not financial advice, I would state that, and I have said this before, Dogecoin is more of a speculative play or a use case token to use to transfer money to one place to another versus holding as an investment over the likes of Bitcoin, for example. Some people disagree with me on that, but I'm going to explain why in a second. Right. So Dogecoin, since that video that I've done, they have upgraded their website massively. They've changed a lot of things and they have pretty much gone through that identity element of dogs and doges and all that kind of cool stuff, right? And the fundamentals of the project is literally to do the currency element, right? Now, when we talk about stuff like this, you know, no utility, it does, it's money. Money is the utility, that's kind of obvious. The cap is where the problem is. There is no cap. So what does that mean? It is unlimited, right? So as of this sort of time period, 2022, it was kind of a problem because you've got 1.4 million Dogecoin per day getting added to the supply. 5 billion per year. That's quite a lot. If you think a cryptocurrency asset, 5 billion is a lot per year, right? And I do believe, as it states here, it may well, it will probably alter the price a little bit because it will suppress it. It will not create scarcity like what Bitcoin does and all that kind of stuff as, as well as other assets, right? So with that being said, is it really an investment? Well, in the hype, yes, because there's something that we need to talk about. And when we look at the likes of obviously X, Twitter, whatever you want to know as these days, they could be an absolute gem of a use case here for their utility of money transferring with their advert revenue, with the ability to get paid in Dogecoin as a creator, whether that is through the subscription service or whether that is just through their ad service if you reach the threshold, right? That could be massive, right? But that, again, is speculation and just a pipe dream. But I'm giving you an idea of utility, right? Elon Musk really likes it. Could well get used. Just going to put that point out there. But let's talk about the chart. Doesn't look too healthy, does it? But it did do pretty much what I said it would do in terms of it will revisit the prior pump areas. And we've done it pretty convincingly. And we've sat here showing a bit of strength. But for me, the biggest problem I've got is the fact of the supply. As we've said, 5 billion a year is, you know, been added to this, right? So this is just going to just keep on dribbling up, right? Maximum supply, as you can see, still infinite. Fair enough, right? It happens. But what we're looking at is obvious key levels of where this can potentially go and revisit in the new vibrant bull cycle whenever we bloody get one, right? So when we talk about the obvious, we need to look at some obvious key levels. So if we look at the weekly time frame here, and if you don't know what I do in these videos, or if you want to learn more, I basically 
do Fibonacci, I look at key levels to see where price can potentially go up to in terms of where the past has been, right? Which is kind of obvious. If you want to learn more, check out Patreon. I do more videos regarding how this fundamentally works. Now, if we're going to look at Fibonacci alone, we'll go from the top to the bottom of the cycle, essentially, which is essentially there. And what's interesting is the 50% mark and this 382 mark is pretty much congested with some pretty decent price levels. Let's be fair here. However, where can it go in the future? You're probably wondering. Well, so that's kind of what the fib's telling us. Personally, I don't think that's going to ever happen. That's my opinion. I cannot see them going way beyond here. If I, if it does, fair play. But when we look at the supply and how much is getting added to that supply, and you've got to think of how many billion in terms of like, you know, market share revenue, market capitalization, all that kind of stuff, it's going to be huge, right? So for it to go to $1 dollar, it's going to be worth 141 billion, right? For a currency, for just a currency, right? That is pretty big. So for some people to come out with price predictions saying it's going to go to nine or ten dollars, where are you going to get the liquidity for a one trillion dollar plus asset? You're probably not going to get it, which is kind of a problem. So in one cycle, yeah, you may well be expecting one dollar, but it might still be a pipe dream. One dollar eighty six could well be a pipe dream. It could be like worth that's like potentially nearly 400 trillion by the time we get to a new set of billions added to it, right? Which is ridiculous when you add to it. So it's important to know. But what I would say is I think that 31 cents is going to be the potential springboard for it to go even higher when it does get things settled again, right? So this is going to be the, well, it's kind of the obvious level, isn't it? Let's be fair here. That could spring, right? From that point there, could spring. The other spring point, could also be 11 or 12 cents, where this level has been in a massive downtrend. We've failed to break out and we've obviously been consolidating. This also could be a level where it could spring towards that level. So there's a lot of areas of interest, a lot lower, where we're thinking, well, where can price actually go back and revisit? Well, that's kind of a nice little level there. Break above that and we go shooting here. When it's about here, we may well start to see that FOMO level take on because from this moment onwards, which is what, what we need to talk about, from this point onwards, right, this is the weekly time frame, right, which is hugely important in terms of the context of this video, right? From this point here, we had one, two, three candles, three weeks to go from 31 cents to 73. Now, in terms of telling you a little bit prior to that, literally the week before, it was roughly around eight cents. So we're talking four freaking weeks. It went from eight cents to 73 cents. Crazy. And prior to that, obviously, we know it was on the floor. So context is simple. Above this level, it could get shot because there's probably a lack of liquidity around this point, a lack of selling orders, and we may well find it go even higher. But honest opinion, I do not believe it's going to go to like $2. I know a lot of people are saying that. I know a lot of people think that. I would be absolutely amazed if it hit $1, but it depends on what Elon Musk, other partners, and what they're aiming to achieve will do to it. Will they change the supply? Will they change certain metrics around it to enable it to function better? Probably not. I don't think they will. I don't think they can either. So that would be interesting. So what I will say, I'm going to say this $1 level is still for me, right, when we look at the $1 level, roughly around here, is still essentially one big, massive question mark, right? Will it actually hit that level, right, in a bull cycle? For me, I'm not convinced yet. Just doing a bull fart, basically. Hey, so yeah, $1 could happen, but it depends on the supply, it depends on how the metrics. Remember, a lot of people got very, very burnt with this due to the speed and the ferocity which it grew and also how people jumped in on it and probably have lost. There's a lot of articles about it. If quickly Google it, about how people lost loads of money. It was all over TikTok and there's a lot of people did genuinely lose money. They left a lot of money on the table. They made millions and they've now got nothing to show for it. They might be a lot of people, as much as I'm saying it might take off, there might be a lot of people in spot holding on you know, certain apps right now sat there, you know, down 80, 90% to be able to sell eventually in the future when it pops off again. So 
it's a very, very interesting one, this one, because of the speed of which it grew. We may never get a pump like this again. May never get one. This is why I'm very, very cautious about Dogecoin because of how it's made up, its utility of money, which let's be honest here, adoption hasn't quite got there unless, as I said at the start of the video, we may well see some more rollouts with Elon Musk's company, which is huge if it happens. So there we go. If you enjoyed my video, let me know. Again, if you want to watch the old, old one of me looking like an absolute homeless twat, feel free to, but it did do very well, that video. So yeah, when to invest in Dogecoin is probably not a bad shout, probably about now, but it's a very, very cyclical kind of coin. In a bull cycle, it probably will grow, but will it go to a dollar? Probably not, unless something really happens.